Hello everybody and welcome back to this comparison video where we will compare Iron PDF to Select PDF. So starting off, I created a project for Select PDF and I used the .NET 5 framework. And for using Select PDF, we have to install the select.html to pdf.net core library. And you can install that through the NuGet package manager. So let's go ahead and move to the code file. At first, I imported the select PDF library at the top of the code file. After that, I create an object of the select PDF library by using HTML to PDF. And then after that, I use a converter variable to convert the URL to PDF. And don't forget to close the converter explicitly or select PDF will leak memory. I don't know why, but they didn't implement iDisposability. So as you can see, I'm using the UPS website to convert to PDF. It looks like this in the browser. Website is, is good, has some structure, and a lot of CSS is used. So let's run the project, and we will wait for the completion of the process. And as you can tell, it also takes some time to process. Okay, process is completed, and the output PDF is generated. And as you can see, it's, it's okay, but a lot of things are missing. If we compare the output with the original website, we'll notice that the logo is missing on top, uh, as well as the U Ukraine supporting uh, top bar is also missing. In the following sections, you notice that, that no image was rendered. So the CSS styling is also missed. So that's why this PDF looks pretty messed up. You know, I, I think we can all agree that Select PDF did not do a good job. So let's move to the Iron PDF part. Here is the Iron PDF project. I've installed the Iron PDF library using the NuGet package manager. And you can install it through the NuGet package manager or the NuGet website. I'm using the latest version of Iron PDF, which is always recommended. So as we go to the code file, here I've added the code for the Iron PDF already. I imported the Iron PDF library first, and then after that I initiate the Chrome renderer object. I customize the viewport width for the PDF file, and Iron PDF provides this great feature for responsiveness. And after that I set the fit to page mode property to the fixed pixel width, and this will automatically fit the suitable size of the PDF for best performance. Then I use the renderer URL as PDF function to convert the URL to PDF. And here, I also use the UPS website for comparison. Then I save the PDF file using the save as function, and in the parameter, I put the path of the output PDF file with the destination. All right, so let's go ahead and run the project. And we will wait for the process to complete. All right, process is completed. So this is the output PDF document generated by Iron PDF, and it looks pretty good. It rendered all the images and style sheets. It preserves responsiveness and arranges the PDF accordingly. Iron PDF renders exactly the same output as the original website. The text box is working. Images render with full quality, and it looks really good. The amazing thing is that Iron PDF doesn't let anything render and all CSS files are applied successfully and generate this awesome output file. So let's go ahead and see both the output PDFs uh, side by side. Here the difference is clear and obviously Iron PDF is a better product. Iron PDF shows great performance and renders each and everything uh, which is on the website, but Select PDF kind of fails to do that. The select PDF renders the page but fails to apply CSS files and Iron PDF uh, not only loads the CSS files but also applies them successfully to make the PDF look exactly like the website in the browser. Even the yellow circle around the account icon, um, Iron PDF did not ignore that. So Iron PDF is really a great tool for HTML to PDF conversion and it also supports all the latest .NET and .NET core frameworks. 
It's clearly HTML5 and CSS3 W3C standards compliant in a way that no other product in the .NET market really can compete with. All right, so that's all for me. I hope this video was helpful. And as always, if you need assistance, our support team is standing by.